I've just received from Rytec Marine. This is the Rytec Marine flush mount kit for the active imaging HD transducer. I made mention of this in one of my previous videos that I was waiting for this before I did the install. Um, if anybody's done an install on a Ranger with a step haul, like a 621, um, you know that we're going to be mounting this up underneath the step. And yes, it will be out of the water, but I don't technically use the side scan or the 2D feature uh, when above three or four mile an hour. So this is designed to mount it to that step. So here is the active imaging three in one HD transducer that I received. And it's going to go inside of this mount like this. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that because the wire comes out on the top, it's designed to fold that wire inside that bracket without bending the wire. And because Ryan likes to build everything a little bit extra heavy duty, as you can see here, this is a little bit thicker than the original flush mount kit that we used on the original side scan AI2s. So Ryan's included some longer screws. You can see them here so that we have enough screw length to get through this flush mount bracket into the active imaging HD transducer. As well, he's also included a little bit longer screws for mounting it to the bottom of the boat. Uh, and you will see that we're going to be using the existing same hole pattern as the original flush mount kit so that we don't have to drill any more holes. So again, a little bit thicker, so we're going to use a little longer screw. We're going to be able to use the existing holes from the original side scan that I had mounted previously on this boat. All right, everyone. Here's the final install portion of the Rytec flush mount bracket on the 3-in-1 Active Imaging HD. Uh, just a quick note, this is a Ranger 621. You can see it's mounted up underneath the step. That's my TM165HW on the lower portion. And just a quick little reference video as to how it looks. I was hoping to do a install video on this particular bracket um, with just the angles of the lighting underneath the boat being upside down on my head trying to uh, screw this above the boat. It wasn't as easy to video or to make it look like a reasonable installation video. So I just want to show you kind of how it ended up.